hindi po binigay ng National Telecommunications Commission ang lisensya para sa patuloy na paglilingkod ng ABS-CBN. Kaya mawawala na po sa ere ang ating ABS-CBN. President Rodrigo Duterte has regularly criticized the network. Opposition groups accuse him of targeting independent media. Ginawa na po namin ang lahat ng requirement para sa renewal at wala rin po kaming nilabag na batas. Pati po ang Kongreso na ayon sa batas ay may kapangyarihan na magutos sa NTC na magbigay ng provisional authority sa TV at radio stations ay nagsabi po na bigyan na muna ang ABS-CBN ng provisional authority. Now, human rights experts say this comes at a very unfortunate time when the country, just like the rest of the world, is fighting a pandemic and the biggest media network with substations across the country with over 11,000 workers are unable to help with information dissemination. But despite the legalities fully, the questions of whether it has the right to air at this point, a lot of human rights experts and media experts are also saying that this really reeks of political persecution. This is an impervious curtailment of press freedom and it's something really spawned by political and personal retribution. Kwento na to ng 11,000 ng mga empleyado ng mga dating kasamahan ko na umaasa na sa panahon ng pandemyang ito, makakasama pa rin ba sila dun sa mga taong mahihirapan kasi baka bukas o bukas wala na nga silang hanap buhay.